Okay, so what we built was a rock, paper, scissors game where you can use a sensor glove in order to register your symbol. So it's a two player game, so you can play against another person. And what it does is it detects both the symbols using our homemade flex sensors and accelerometers to track the beginning and end okay. of the game. Where are the homemade flex sensors? Are the first two fingers? The flex sensors are located in the index finger and the ring fingers. Okay. And those are pretty much the only real fingers you need in order to determine all the symbols in rock, paper, scissors. And what it does is you play a game against another person, and it will even detect cheating. If the other person is too far behind or too far in front of you, it'll stop the game and, and time it out. Okay, so let's see it go. I'm gonna move your hands a little closer together here so I can get them both. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, okay, and it says... We both did scissors. So it's, it says tie game on there, in fact. Yep. So it has the, uh, the full count out of each hand hit, uh -huh. which downward move of the, of the fist, uh, plus our, the raw symbol off the flex sensor, and one indicates that we, each one for each of us indicates we both did scissors, and then there's the, uh, the game result, and finally the, the stats for all the games we've been playing. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so it was rock and, so paper and rock and player one wins. Very cool. <laughs> and so, how is the reliability? It's pretty good. Um, so we actually have LEDs on the board that will, uh, when you, uh, they can, they'll trigger when the system is detecting that like a finger is down. So if you say I, I bend this finger, that LED is going to go on. Then I bend this one. This one will go on. And then if uh, if it's not how you want it, you can adjust these two potentiometers with a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you can you can adjust the angle basically at which it bends. I see. Do that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. At, at which it uh, detects that it's bending. Okay. So you you calibrate that how often? Um, whenever whenever we start, we, when we first set it up, we always recalibrate it. Just so the flex sensors move around a little bit, they get a little pinched or crushed, and this just allows us to because because we made our own flex sensors, they're not as perfect as maybe if they came off a manufacturing line, but the potentiometer, the adjustable threshold, allows us to compensate for that every time. But it saved you $40. It saved also. us, yeah, $40, which was a reasonable price, according to them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very cool.